believe me, there's a much bigger threat to the men in blue. That's him! Kill the bastard with the video camera! Hey guys, Rogue Nation here with you tonight. We got an awesome, awesome video tonight from you. It's coming out of Tulsa. I believe the gentleman's channel name is Triangle Productions or Triangle Podcast. Of course, it's going to be linked down in the description below. It says his name is Ron. It says he's a lawyer and uh, he's out there on the street doing audits. It's uh, it's quite impressive. Um, I'm going to reach out to, to Ron here and see if I can get him on to uh, do an interview of him and uh, yeah it should be pretty interesting and um, and let's get into the video here real quick and uh, we'll show you what we're talking about for all I'm your host Ron Durbin here in the Triangle podcast room in Tulsa Oklahoma at the heart of Greenwood we're here to talk to you today about an incident that happened at the Tulsa Transit Authority on June 29th, 2023. As many of you know, I'm an attorney and one of the areas that I really love to practice in is civil rights. A few days prior to June 29th, I was contacted by somebody I knew quite well about a potential issue of discrimination going on at the Tulsa Transit Authority. Uh, after meeting with him and talking to him about what was going on and the acts that were being perpetrated by a security guard over at the Tulsa Transit Authority, I figured that the best way to figure out if something was really going on was to go over there for myself and see if we couldn't get to the bottom of this and ask a few questions. The video you're about to watch is exactly what transpired as I was there with my Facebook Live. We're going to walk you through it. We're going to play some clips and uh, we're going to cut out the parts that are quite frankly unnecessary and boring. But let's see what's going on. Let's get to the video. Hanging out. out in the front. Restrooms for customers only. Please keep out. Sorry guys, I had to uh, had to pause that there for a second. Um, what I did want to say though is that I think we're going to get a lot out of this young man here. He's an attorney. He says he likes to focus on civil rights. And as you're going to see here from this video, he's actually out on the street practicing what he preaches, going and investigating these claims. Um, like I said, I... I really impressed I've only seen a couple of the guys videos he doesn't have a lot of videos up he's got less than 200 subs let's get this guy up to a thousand subs guys I mean really I mean this guy the information that he's gonna provide to all of us is going to be um, I mean you can't put a dollar amount on it this is just it's just a great development here I'm so happy that finally some people that practice this sort of law are getting involved in it um you know we just saw that video the other night where the mainstream news media guy was in there with leroy truth and and you know doing the audits now we have a, a civil rights attorney that's actually out there doing the audits so th this is just and you know this was the way it was always going to go right because what we're doing is is right and it's just right and and questioning government is the correct thing to do right it's our civil your civic duty right in a free society uh the press is the fourth estate we're the check and balance on the other three branches so all right let's keep going guys i'll uh, i'll stop uh commenting until the end of the video um hopefully ron's a, a nice guy and doesn't hit me with a copyright strike but i think it's important that we take what he has to say and 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 you know grasp that and then i'll give my thoughts at the end of the video so let's go lobby hours customer service hours monday through friday seven to six i don't have any weapons i have no guns can't i'm not smoking doesn't say restricted access stay out it says restrooms are for customers only Hang on, I'm gonna look at all the signs. I like signs. Folks, as an attorney, what I'm looking for here when I'm saying I'm looking for signs is I'm looking for any signs that would indicate that this is a public building, that it's owned by a public trust, or any signs that might restrict constitutionally protected activities like recording in a public place. So that's why I'm looking at all the signs and I'm making sure to get all of that documented. If you're gonna go do your own First Amendment audit, I would always make sure you look at all of the signs that are out in the parking lot, look at all the signs that are on the entry doors, and make sure that you're looking at all the signs that are around the 
windows and things so you can see what it is that they're posting about. Those can be important things for you moving on in the future. Flash Terry was a professional guitarist by the age of 17. In 1958, he recorded his first and most well-known recording. Uh, her name is Lou, which was an R&B hit. I'm going to look that up. So down in the comments, we're going to have some links to some YouTube channels that uh, have some songs by Flash Terry. If you've not listened to Flash Terry, what an amazing blues guy from Oklahoma. What an amazing story. It's stories like this that we need to get out. And this is hidden in a, in a bus terminal that apparently the public's not allowed to go in and film. Let's find out why we're not allowed to go in here and film uh, as we continue this. But uh, let's do give a moment for the amazing Flash Terry. Check out his music in the comments below. Here's the Denver Avenue Station Metropolitan Tulsa Transit Authority, so it is definitely a public building. Yeah, folks, here's an example right here of why you want to look at all the signs on the wall, because this sign points out that it's owned by the Tulsa Transit Authority. There's a board of trustees of a public trust. If it's a publicly owned by a public trust funded by taxpayer dollars, it's a public building that's publicly accessible, meaning you can go record there and engage in constitutionally protected activity like what we're doing. And, and let's find out why they have an issue with us being here uh, as this progresses. Wait, uh, hey, uh, just talk, to, explain it to me then. I, I'm curious. She's a customer. Okay. She comes here in the morning, okay. the bus, and then she starts her job. Once she's on her job, she cannot come and go. Who owns this property? It's called the Transit. Okay. Uh, is, that a, is that a governmental entity? We're, we're a trust of the okay, so a governmental entity, a governmental trust is the same as a public trust, a public entity. So under what authority are you telling them that they can't come in here when they're buying a drink and they're a customer? Oh, this is public, public property, correct? No, the, no, sir, no, are, are you selling no, beverages in this lobby or am I incorrect? No, but you're selling beverages in this, well, sir, the beverages are for sale in your lobby, correct? Are they not? Yes, they okay, are. and someone can walk in here and purchase that, correct? Right, that would be a customer who was buying your water or your other beverages, correct? Where did you get your law degree from? No? Okay. Well, so, so under what statute are you citing? So under what statute are you citing? I, I'm consuming water right now that I just purchased from this machine. Are you prohibiting me from being in this building now? Are you going to let me talk or not? I'm listening, sir. You're not cutting me off. I'm listening. Go ahead. So he is not a customer. He doesn't catch our customers. Did you just buy that? I did. Okay. Go ahead. You're not a customer. Can anybody figure out why we were be getting kicked out of this place other than the fact that we were there taking pictures and videos and asking questions about why they're discriminating about against people at this bus terminal? If you can figure out why we're getting kicked out, let me know in the comments down below because we were certainly confused. And also, what's the definition of a customer if it isn't somebody who's buying goods and services in the facility? We purchased both goods in the form of bottles of beverages out of the machines that they're making money off of. And we also bought Tulsa Transit bus tickets. So I'm not really sure how we didn't meet the qualifications of being a customer. And again, let's not forget the fact that this is a public area in a publicly owned property that is owned by a public trust and paid for by tax dollars of the citizens of the city of Tulsa. So now let's go on and, and find out what the police do when they show up, because as you as you heard, he's calling the police because he doesn't like the fact that we told him that we're customers. So let's see if TPD uh, agrees with us. What am I talking to? Before you get into the police segment, keep in mind a couple of things. We're looking for, in order to enforce civil rights, a governmental actor to deprive the civil rights. And we have to do it under either arrest, by them arresting us for trespassing, or under threat of arrest. A sign posted that says you can't engage in a certain activity, somebody telling you that you can't engage in that certain activity, that does not rise to the level for federal courts for you to be able to take action under 42 U.S.C. 1983 is the Civil Rights Enforcement Statute. And in order to take advantage of it, you have to have a governmental actor and you have to do something and be denied a governmental right or a right under the Oklahoma, under the United States Constitution under threat of arrest. And so what we're looking for here with the Tulsa Police Department is for them to either issue us a citation or to make it very clear that they're going to arrest us if we don't obey their order. Once we have that, the job then is to get out of the facility because you're not looking to go to jail. We all saw what happened when I went to jail. And if you haven't seen that, click on the comments below and you'll see that uh, video. But we don't want to antagonize or get them upset because we don't want to go to jail. So once we have a governmental act, 
director ordering us to do something under color of law, under threat of arrest. That's all we need. We've met all the element requirements of a 1983 action, and we are going to get out of there. So watch the video to the end and understand that's why I'm doing that. Hello, guys. Which one is in charge? Which one am I talking to? Can you identify yourself for the camera, please? Badge number? Thank you. And you, sir? I think we've met before, haven't we? No, we didn't meet at the city of Tulsa one day. Okay. Uh, any other officers with you? Well, there's another guy. Let's wait for him. We're buying tickets and being told that we're prohibited from being in the building. So I'm trying to figure out what authority this security guard has to dictate that. Okay, what policy? Okay, what statute? Does the city of Tulsa trust authority on this property, which is a governmental entity? Okay, so you're saying this is not governmental property and they can order us out of here. Despite the fact that we're here buying tickets and purchase beverages when they ordered us out. I don't. Are you, all I'm asking for, sir, if you, officer, who are a sworn police officer for the city of Tulsa, are ordering us out of here in compliance with that, that is all I need for my 1983 action. So if you order that, command us out of here, we're gone. Now I've got what I need. I've got a governmental actor to sue. So. Are you telling us that, or what are we doing? They've asked you to leave. Yeah, we're customers, and I've purchased tickets and beverages. They've asked you to leave. They can enforce it on private property, so yes. You're directing me to leave, then? Yes, sir. Okay. Can we get our receipts first? If they're okay with that, absolutely. Well, she's producing them. This is or mine? Mine. Can we get a, I'm going to need a report number. Hey, 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 no, no, don't, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. I'm going to need a report number. Can we generate a report number? It does require a report. You've ordered us off the property under threat of arrest. I think that qualifies for a report. Have you not? Well, okay. In order to compel me off of somewhere, it has to be under threat of arrest. Don't leave. I'm going to be arrested. Is that what you're telling me? In which case, we'll absolutely happily leave. I would issue citation under most circumstances. A citation for what? Now, okay. Can you issue me that citation? I could. Okay, go ahead. But if you guys no, I'll take the citation. If you guys apply, no, I want the I citation. Know. I'll I'll happily leave once you issue me, issue me that citation, because that's a lawful order to leave. Then. Um, I give it to you. Okay, let's go. You can't just say I'm nicely asking you to leave or I'm telling you to leave. I have to be commanded to leave. If you're commanding me to exit the premises now under threat of arrest. I'll leave. We don't have to do any more paperwork. I've got your information. I got what I need for my 1983 action. Okay. So is that what we're doing? What are we doing? If you'd rather take your citation, which I'd rather you just order me to leave and I've got your name and I got all I need. Okay, so you're ordering me to leave under threat of arrest or citation. Is that correct? Okay. Thank you very much. That's all I needed. Okay. I didn't get you. I got you guys. I got can I get your did I get your badge number? Okay, Ewing. Thank you so much. Uh, Oh, yeah, and so we're clear. They can't come use the bus station? She can. She is now permanently suspended. Okay. How you going to suspend me? It's okay. We're going to sue him. And hey, shh, 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 shh. I got it. I got it. We're going to sue him. Literally, it would be no problem. So it's fine. All right. Thank you for that. I really appreciate you. That. All right, let's go. Let's leave the building. We told him we'd leave. Let's leave the building. Now I've got a case. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, you cannot be publicly in a bus station uh, in the city of Tulsa to buy beverages or tickets or, you, or you get ordered out of the building. Under what grounds? Um, I think for filming in public, which is a violation of our First Amendment rights, or our speech, which is a violation of our First Amendment rights. All of which means they're absolutely epically screwed. Well, hey, everybody, thanks for watching the video. As you can clearly see, there's a big issue going on at the Tulsa Transit Authority. They have serious issues with citizens exercising their constitutional rights to engage in constitutionally protected activities like recording in a public place. This security guard clearly has an issue with people of African-American descent, and we're going to be bringing litigation on these issues very soon. But until that time, we're going to continue to go out there and challenge these authorities and challenge these rules because they're not right. And if you just sit around and do nothing, then you're never going to be responsible for achieving change. And here at Justice for All, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for achieving change in Tulsa and Oklahoma and in the wider world around us.
All right, guys, so you saw it there. I want to point out something that he said that I've been saying for a long time is that you don't need to take the arrest, right? All you need is the threat of arrest. Document it, move on, right? We're wasting our time. We're wasting our money. Uh, we're wasting our freedom taking an arrest, right? So um, for those of you out there new starting up, that's the best advice I could give you is do not take the arrest. Document it just like this gentleman showed you right here and then move on. All right. Guys, go ahead and uh, go check him out. Let him know that the major sent you and, uh, and let him know we appreciate the work that he's doing out there um, in everyone's behalf. And hopefully, like I said, I'm going to try to get in touch with him and see if I can get him on to do an interview with us because I think he's going to have some good stuff to tell us. Um, so me and my Magnum PI shirt is going to be out of here, guys. All right. Thanks. What's this? What do you think you're doing? You think you can just come in here and film police officers training? Oh man, the cops are out there. Do you guys have some place I can hide? No, sir. We don't hide people. No? Oh man, it's got to be a place I can hide. No, sir. No. What about behind the behind the counter? No, sir. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. I'm not hiding. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up.